So let's talk about what happened in this second trailer. Why don't we? So uh, I I'm really loving how Charizard's looking. All like scaly and dragon-like, but not technically a dragon. He's a fire-flying type. Let's, let's be clear with that. Lizard with wings, not a dragon. He's a fire-flying type. That's it. Not a dragon. Okay. Amazing details. Uh, I can't wait to see the battle with him and Pikachu. I don't know who this fur coat guy is. I never played the games, but uh, seems kind of interesting. Bulbasaur looks both cute and just, like, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Like, he's... It just looks like an animal or, or creature that I would want in my life. Look at those beautiful eyes. You could just get lost in them. And just, you look at the textures on its skin and, and the bulb leaves thingies. And it's just like, wow, I want one. This is why a lot of, a lot of people are loving Bulbasaur now. I never thought Apom could look so disgusting. And, and cute at the same time. It's kind of like how a monkey would look in real life if it wanted to eat your brains out, because that's how chimps are. You know, they're very ravenous creatures. And Apom has perfect human-looking teeth with uh, uh, a hand tail. If Pokemon happened to take a ultra wormhole to this whatever uh, reality it is, that that's what it would look like. And I just love how everything's so fluffy. Like, I, I appreciate that. As as one who owns two fluffy bunnies, I can uh, uh, I can appreciate the fluffiness. You know, like looking at Ludicolo. That's just a funny Pokemon. That was always a funny Pokemon. I, I loved how... Uh, um, I, I just love the introduction of Ludicolo for, like, trainers like Mirror B from uh, Pokemon Coliseum and that awesome series, which I think they need a, to make a third game for that to, you know, pay homage to, like, the old fans who originally played the first story-based RPG for a console. But Ludicolo is amazing, and uh, I, I just, I, I never thought Ludicolo would have been actually fluffy. I thought it had more of, like, a like a smooth skin. I guess maybe I didn't read its descriptions on the Pokedex too well. Or like it might have been feathered, but it looks kind of hairy. Like my dog. Like a like a like a dog with hair. You know, not like fur, but like human looking hair and a duck thing. I got to look up the origins of Ludicolo, uh but that that could be a later video or something. But uh um Mewtwo just looks like an alien, human hybrid, which, you know, when you when you pay attention to the uh, Pokemon Adventure series, that's literally what he was. Like, he was a combination between, uh, I forget, uh, Blaine's DNA with uh, the DNA of whatever they scrounged up from Mew. Um, and that's, that's what Mewtwo actually was seen to be as when uh, Pokemon Adventures w was first a thing. It's not a commonly known thing, but uh, I, I really like that series because of all the things that uh, ended up being scrapped later on in Generations and when Pokemon ended up revealing more of its identity. But uh, Mewtwo looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Snubble's looking like a dog. Snubble looks like my dog. Well, not well. My dog doesn't have an uh, an underbite, but you know, just the same squishy nose and and like kind of dog like features. I don't know how this is a fairy Pokemon. It's a, I mean, I guess because it's pink. I think that's what that's the only thing that makes it a fairy type, in my opinion. But just like the the expressions on Snubble's face is how. Snubble looked like in the anime, which was, which is amazing. Uh, like, I, I can't believe they made it so detailed, yet so much like Pokemon. It's just perfect. I, I can't wait to see this movie. I'm such a goddamn fanboy. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the, and, and all the different, uh, Easter eggs that you see 
in like split cut scenes like uh you know with Machamp directing traffic. I think there's a lily pup on that phone booth up there right above where Snorlax is and then Jigglypuff a little bit to the right in the background. Um but one thing that I did notice which is a little bit of an e easter egg is that Pancham below that 20 sign and uh that becomes a little bit more relevant later on where there's like this bulletin board where there's a, a missing Pancham. I thought that was cool. Just the the small details really really uh go the mile for me. Um you know, like the fight scene with uh, the loud dread at at the, uh, you know, and the and the DJs and stuff next to the DJs, and there's like critical hit in the background. I thought that was pretty cool, and uh, you know, later on the that fight scene is uh, the the monitor changes from critical hit to double team, and you see Gengar using double team and Blastoise doing some some break dancing, I guess. I don't know if this is a battle or like an exhibition battle, but kind of like what you saw in like 4th gen or 5th gen with like Cynthia kind of touring uh, uh, specific locations just to fight Elite Four members for the show of it. But it kind of looks like that, you know. Uh, or, you know, maybe it's just Blastoise using like Rapid Spin in combination with Hydro Pump. I don't know. I'm overanalyzing that. That's, uh, I digress. We saw Greninja in like the last uh trailer and that was that was pretty cool. Just uh, you know, just using water shuriken as it does. It's I don't know if this was in the last trailer, but I did notice uh these Joltik climbing up wires and sucking away electricity in this split second uh clip that, you know, I I had to like I had to capture. I suppose it's more uh, evidence that the Pokemon world in Rhyme City is very immersive and just, you know, has Pokemon crawling around everywhere. It's amazing. It's amazing. Speaking of uh, split seconds, there's this uh, small glimpse you got of uh, Lickitung, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, being all, all licky and, and tonguey. That tongue looks so realistic. God damn it. Wow. And the proportions on the tongue is, is, uh, to boot as well. Which I, I, uh, I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of this franchise because of how, uh, correct and consistent they continue to be in my life. And it... Even though it's hyper-realistic and kind of weird-looking, it's the same thing with Bulbasaur. I want one. You know, like, I could see myself having a pet lick a tongue, and, you know, it would be weird, but it, it'd be cool. You know, it. it's like me. I like food. lick -a -tongue likes food. And, you know, we got a lot in common there. And I don't know, uh, you know, I wouldn't keep an A-Palm. I wouldn't want an Apom, but definitely a lick tongue because it, even though it's hyper-realistic and got a slimy look of tongue, it still looks kind of charming in a way. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts on lick -a tongue Another, uh, another thing I liked, uh, you know, that we got to see a glimpse of was the, the scene at the police station where you see, like, uh, Golurk looking all stoic with its ancient glow emblemy thingies the police walking with their little growliths and and arcanines in the background and th that just looks they look more like dogs i like dogs if you haven't realized already i like dogs they're nice they're loyal companions pokemon are kind of like dogs like in their personality they're just very loyal and they're still going to love you no matter what. Doesn't mean you should go out and, like, beat your lick tongues or, like, uh, abuse your A-Poms. Uh, definitely not an A-Pom. You gotta, you gotta love your Pokemons like they would love you.
But yeah, I just really like how how dog like Arcanine and Growlithe looks, and how they're paired with police officers like the original anime. I don't know if that was something that was taken directly from the game or that was something taken directly from the anime. Either way, Pokemon's consistent, and I appreciate that because I'm a fan that pays attention to details, mind you, and because uh, I really dissected the crap out of this this whole trailer to the point where I can't enjoy the movie because I'm going to dissect every part of the movie and it's not going to be fun to watch anymore. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm still going to watch it. You know how it is. You're going to watch every bit of it, every every frame and every critique. And, you know, who cares if it's got some flaws? I'm still going to watch it. It's the same thing with 8th Gen. You know, I'm, I'm still going to I'm still going to play it. I don't know why I'm so indoctrinated with Pokemon, but, uh, you know, it's it's my life now. That's it. My fate is sealed. It's my life. But yeah, when you look at the police scene a little bit further, kind of like what I did with Pancham, I noticed like a slacking in the background, slacking off as it does, yes, because he is a king of slacking off. Um, don't blame him, man, you know. It's, uh, you know, what else is he going to do? Actually, he's probably really strong. I mean, if you guys played against Norman in the normal type gym in the Hoenn region, he's got a good slacking. He's always loafing around, but, you know, he's got, a, he's got strong stats. Look it up. Look it up, kids. Okay? Slacking is good. He's good for your soul. He's there. He's there waiting watching yearning i don't think he's yearning i why did i say that i'm sorry well the next video i'm going to talk a little bit more about the easter eggs specifically i mean i already went over a couple of easter eggs but i i'd like to talk more about the easter eggs that a lot of youtubers are covering now and like ooh this could be you know gen gen 4 remakes oh my god you know how that is. Can't get enough of Gen 4 remakes. It's not going to happen until 2020, my friends. Hindsight will be 2020. Ha. Huh. That's going to be... That's a good slogan. Anyways, the Pokemons look good. I, I just like how fluffy the Pokemon are. Or how rock solid. Or how smooth, depending on whatever typing. It just looks great. I wanna, I wanna watch the movie. It'd be cool to play a game that's like that hyper-realistic type of game for a more, a more mature audience. But yeah, I'm already going over time, so uh, I hope you all have a wonderful time. And uh, um, thank you for watching. Feel free to talk about your thoughts and my thoughts if I have good thoughts. And, uh, uh, outro. I don't have an outro. Shit.